Hello and welcome to this episode of Beam NG Drive. I'm David N. Ark. Today we're going to learn how the multiplayer mod works, how you download it, how you install it, all that good stuff. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is go to the multiplayer Discord, and then in there you will find the mod download channel. You want to go to that channel, and then at the bottom of the list you will find the most recent Beam MP Zip. You need to download that and save that to your computer, and then the next thing you're going to need is um, at the top of the same page, if you go all the way up to the top, there is a link link to a file on the Google Drive, and that is the bridge. So you need the bridge, and it's an RAR file. I'll talk about that in just a second. So you need the bridge file, and you need the Beam MP zip file. Then you're going to put those files into your Beam NG Drive mods folder. Now, like I said, the bridge is a RAR file, so you will need something like WinRAR to open it up, uh, and then you also have the bridge MP zip just leave the zip file the way it is it's uh, actually just a regular mod um, once you extract the bridge rar you will have a bridge folder and inside there is another bridge folder and uh, in there you will find the bridge.bat and all you do is double click bridge.bat and that will run the program now that's going to bring up a list of the available servers uh, and um, basically the way this looks and, and I'm just moving the uh, columns so I can read stuff. Um, but over on the left, you have the country in which that server is housed. Then you have a description, which often includes whatever map is being used, although it doesn't always have the map listed there. Um, the third column is the map. So any map means any map, unless over on the description side, there is a map specified. So, uh, for example, if we're going to take uh, one of these, um, then we would want a particular, uh, we'd have to make sure that we go into a particular map. The next column where it says players, it shows you how many players, the first number, Verse, uh, out of how many total players available on the server. So if you see like two out of 10, that means there are two people playing that uh, at the current time. The next thing you're going to see is disconnected down at the bottom and you want to hit start in the lower right corner and you will see that it says waiting for user to connect. At this point, you're going to fire up your Beam NG drive. You're going to hit play, go to free roam and choose the exact same map that you picked for the server. Um, you can spawn in any of the spawn points, but I'm just going to pick the default spawn point and we will spawn in there. Now, the first time you set this up, you're going to have to go into your customized UI apps and you're going to have to add this app. The easiest way to do that is to deselect all, then just click the check mark next to unknown, and then you will see the multiplayer mod come up the UI, and then you can drag that and put that wherever you want to on the screen. Once in here, the only thing you can change, or the only thing you should change, is your name if it doesn't say what you want it to say. Otherwise, just hit join, and it'll take a few moments, and it should, uh, after a few moments, pop up there and say that you are connected to that server. Then the next thing you have to do is spawn in a new vehicle. So go pick a vehicle that you want, hit spawn new, and boom, you are now in the game driving around. So generally what you can do is um, look around and look for a black banner with somebody's name. There we go. <laughs> I must have missed it the first time around. All right. So... Uh, you're going to go find other people that you want to play with and or who else is in there. You may or may not want to play with them. I don't know. But anyway, uh, other people who are in there. And as you can see, there are now two additional people in here. You can see the list uh, in the UI app. So there's actually someone else who is not showing up for whatever reason. Um, but anyhow... There you go. When you're done, exit BeamNG. That'll take you back to the bridge. From here, you want to disconnect, and then you are good to go. 
All right, so there you go. That is how you go find and download and install the Beam NG multiplayer mod. Uh, the big thing, a couple of big takeaways to remember. One, the bridge folder can actually exist anywhere on your computer. So if you don't want to put the bridge folder in your mods folder, you could leave it in downloads. You could put it in its own folder wherever you want to on your computer just of course remember where you put it the other thing is that when you join a game already in progress where you are not the first person make sure that after you join and your car disappears uh spawn in a new vehicle and then you'll be able to drive around so there you go thank you so much for watching i appreciate it so much and we'll see you next time here in beam ng drive Hey, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications so you'll know when new vids get posted. I'd appreciate it if you liked and shared the video too. Thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to Hero of God, GamerGall, and Mr. Spooky7 for supporting me on Patreon. Hey, I've got a couple of videos here you might be interested in. You can check those out and, well, we can hang out for a bit more here on David and Ark. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.